Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers. Welcome to the Root Tip of the Week. But let's start with the Illusion of the Week. Okay, here's a little bet you can win with three quarters, bottle of Coke, and a hundred dollar bill. Or in this case, let's make it a million dollar bill. So we're going to take the three quarters and place them one at a time on top of the bill. And the idea is we have to remove the million dollar bill without touching anything except one finger. So here we go. And the way we do that is very, very simple. To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed this week's magic trick. Right now, root tip of the week. Well, today's root tip is going to be nice and short, uh, but I think it's going to be something that will be of value to everybody listening. Like most of you, I do keep a master list of projects, and I also make out a to-do list every day. But the problem is, I like to do it on my computer. However, I also don't much care for carrying a PDA around. And sometimes I'll be at home, and I'll want to check my to-do list, and it's on the list at the office. So the other day, it occurred to me that there is a section in Gmail. In fact, almost all email programs have this, where you can save a draft of the uh, email that you're working on. So what I found was I opened up my drafts folder and there were a couple of drafts in there that were three and four years old and I had just forgotten to send them out. So it, it occurred to me why don't I just keep my to-do list and my uh, master list of all my projects directly in my email and whenever I want to add to it I simply open the draft folder, type in whatever I want to type, delete, make changes and then I'll just hit save now and it'll automatically update it. And as long as I never send the email out, it automatically will stay in my draft folder indefinitely. This has saved me a lot of time and a lot of uh, heartache on trying to figure out where some of the, the emails that I had or where the list was being stored. So you might want to give this a try. It's a pretty simple thing. It's not totally dental related, but uh, most of you, I think, will enjoy this. Well, that's it for another Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers inviting you to register at endorootcamp.com for free videos and special reports you can't get anywhere else. Meanwhile, I will see you at our next Endo Root Camp.